What is up, guys? So I got a final update on the latest attempt by Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyers and herself to delay the unsealing of these documents, which I've been covering for you guys. Um, I just made a video literally a couple hours ago regarding it. And we have the final decision. And as I predicted in my last video, as I guessed, Judge Preska has denied Ghislaine Maxwell's request to extend the unsealing of these documents. As you see here, I got the legal document. This literally dropped like five minutes ago. I just got it in my email. So, no, no, to be fair, she probably wrote it um, like hours ago, but we got a decision here. So, on Virginia Roberts versus Ghislaine Maxwell, this is, this is Loretta Preska, senior United States District Judge writing. The court has reviewed the party's letters dated August 10th and August 11th, 2020, docket numbers um, uh, 1099 and to all the way to 1101. The court writes specifically to address defendant Ghislaine Maxwell's request for a three-week stay of the unsealing process due to the availability of, quote, critical new information related both to this action and to the pending criminal case against her, U.S. v. Maxwell, number 20, um, uh, 330, dockets 1100 at 12. This is the decision. Uh, this is what the judge basically decided. Maxwell's request is denied, and I highlighted it just for uh, the, just for effect. Given that Miss Maxwell is not at liberty to disclose this new information because it is subject to the protective order in the criminal action, the court has no reasonable basis to impose a stay. And as Miss Maxwell knows, her ipsa dixit, that means uh, baseless basically, does not provide compelling ground for relief. Ipsa dexit, mean, uh, ipsa dexit means it's a Latin term for basically baseless accusations or baseless claim. That's what that means. Should the protective order in the criminal action be modified to permit disclosure of the relevant information to the court, Miss Maxwell may renew her request for a stay of the unsealing process. So they basically tried to use mysterious, a mysterious magical criminal case that nobody knows about, that they don't even want to tell us about. They tried to use that as an excuse. So it was, the judge basically said, if you can let us know what this criminal case is all about and how it's relevant to our case now, then we might consider your, uh, your, uh, your grounds for, you know, delaying the unsealing because we want to see that it has relevance to this case. So they're trying to use this, uh, this mysterious uh, criminal case that nobody knows about they want to use that as, a, as an excuse to delay this unsealing process. And the judge, I, as I hoped, has seen through this ruse and she has basically voted against them or, or decided against them. So there you go. I just wanted to drop this. This is just really fast and, and straightforward. I, I predicted this because, like I said, without knowing what the criminal case is about and how, how it relates to our case, with, uh, with Virginia Roberts Virginia Roberts versus uh, Ghislaine Maxwell and also the U.S. Uh, U.S. versus versus Ghislaine Maxwell. Those are the two cases we're talking about here. And she couldn't prove th the relevance of that criminal case or this new information that they have um, to basically get a stay. And it's failed, basically. So we'll see. Maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll release some information from the criminal case if it exists um, to try to uh, to try to um, stop this unsealing that's coming soon. That's going to be decided on September 22nd. So with all that being said, that's the latest update. Judge Preska has made the right decision, in my opinion. Uh, everybody has to make up their minds, but I think she did the right thing. And uh, she basically ruled against, uh, ruled uh, according to the law. If you can't prove your case, then you're not going to get a stay from the judge. So that's it. Quick update for you guys once again. See you guys, in, see you guys tomorrow in my next video. With that being said, peace. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end guys. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to listen to and consider some of the ideas that I present in my videos, even if you don't agree with me all of the time. My long term goal on this channel is to get to a position where I can do political analysis full time. So if you appreciate the nonpartisan objective political analysis I do here, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It is the only way independent political analysts like myself can make a living discussing politics. Grassroots funding is the best way for political analysts to stay unbought and unbossed in my opinion. Even if you can only afford $1 a month, in aggregate those dollars add up and it would be much appreciated by me. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always,
Peace.